हेलो हेलो संजय सर हाय हाय हाउ आर यू आई एम फाइन सर गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू ई कॉन्क्लेव आई वेलकम यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ई क्लब आईटी बॉम्बे श्योर सर कौशिक सर विल बी मॉडरेटिंग द सेशन फॉर टुडे आई वेलकम यू कौशिक सर हेलो sir with permission of both of yours uh, i'll just introduce both of you and then i i'll hand over the session to kaushik sir if that's okay sir sure, please go ahead so mr sanjay mehta is a venture investor founder and partner at 100x vc which is india's first one to invest in early stage firms utilizing icf notes and plan to invest in 100 startups a year since december 2019 100x vc has invested in 80 cutting edge and revolutionary startups he also oversees mehta ventures a family office fund mehta ventures was created as an independent privately held boutique family office that offers a wide range of startup asset and cryptocurrency co investment option to a reliable network of hni families in the us and india sir has invested in more than 130 firms Sir is a serial entrepreneur and technology advocate. He has been acknowledged as a super angel investor on the Forbes list of innovators and as Let's Ventures 2017 Investor of the Year. Sir has served as the primary investor in re- reality TV online series Pitch Right in couple of seasons. Sir also writes frequently and is a pioneer in early stage investing. Mr. Mahata invests in markets in US and India. Some of his uh, Investments are in companies such as Oyo Rooms, Box Eight, Wow Momos, Login, Login X, etc. So, sir, I wholeheartedly inv- uh, welcome you on behalf of uh, E Club again. Now, I'll introduce uh, Kaushik, sir. Kaushik was is a co-founder and the CEO at of Sus Labs, which is an electricity big data analytics company. Sus Labs deciphers real-time electricity consumption of the house, all the way up to heavy appliances. level by analyzing smart meter data he is an alumni of shivning research science and innovation leadership fellowship program at oxford post his engineering sir has pursued his pg ess from london business school and also holds a masters degree from ei business school so i again welcome you and now session is in your hands thank you uh, i'm audible yeah, yes very good perfect thank you uh, lovely i think uh, not every entrepreneur gets to ask this question to sanjay mehta of <laughs> how did you start your journey uh, <laughs> hey, you know, the, you know, honesty, uh, i mean having seen startup uh, over the last decade uh, i'm the ecosystem grow in front of you what has changed uh, how, how did you start the journey what has changed uh, could you just throw some light on that sure thank you guys having me here and uh... just to share across uh, some nuggets uh, this was not uh, designed it happened kind of stuff not that i wanted to become a vc uh, i have been an entrepreneur by heart and uh, continue to believe so that i am an entrepreneur not a vc first uh, built to software companies exited so that was the success side of it had a dot com failure Uh, lost lot of money i mean virtually got broke in the dot com times had a lot of roller coaster ride experience in the 2000s uh, quite a lot of learnings then uh, was part of nascom regional council uh, used to work with nascom closely and uh, there was a gentleman named harish mehta uh, who was founder of nascom uh, he actually Uh, recommended me to join IN, and it was more of saying that let's get some tech validation than being a tech entrepreneur. Understood tech, and this was early 2010, 11 kind of stuff, and uh, that's how it happened, right? Nothing was as such designed uh, to become a VC, and uh, since then, uh, I think tech has become like an hygiene. So I don't, I think no longer people. do unless you are a deep tech company but tech enabled i think it's more or less yeah there and uh, uh, i i believe entrepreneurs have been more confident uh, there has been velocity into the ecosystem what what used to take 
maybe three months, five months to close a deal. Now you are able to wrap up the deal in two weeks, three weeks time and lesser than that. At 100X, we do the, so our focus is to quickly turn around. If you like a deal, we move very fast and close the deal uh, using ISAFE note immediately. So right. we'll talk on that. But I, I, the way I see across is uh, we, are, we, we were at a very nascent stage uh, to be a startup nation. Now, uh, I can proudly say we are a unicorn nation. So that phase has passed and India is a unicorn nation. This is the, I'm so proud. This is the only country where state heads, uh, our uh, country head, Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, speaks about startups. The minister speaks about startups, right? And we, we have so many infrastructural stuff happening across for our startup. So, so I think we are blessed. India is unstoppable. So speaking of unicorn, you have a gravity defying, defying portfolio. Uh, I mean, Michael Moritz uh, in his interview mentioned there is an element of luck uh, in, when it comes to returns, but clearly that does not apply to you. Uh, any any uh, specific recipe that you uh, tend to follow while investing, any particular sector, uh, that you tend to stick to when it comes to good returns or any uh, what 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 philosophy do you really take to the uh, discussions uh, while evaluating well, uh, i strongly believe in luck these are all random things and uh, you know uh, it is just random that you have a good rewarding portfolio uh, over the time uh, you know so startup investing was considered as a gamble and still a lot of the uh, newbies they will think this as a lottery, saying that jackpot lag gaya. You know, those are the kind of stuff. But if you do it right, there is something which is called power law of distribution. Then there is something which is called portfolio construction strategy. And lastly, how do you index a startup? Hmm. So, Mota Moti underlying, you know, learning is every fund you will have a lot of failures, but there will be one outlier hit, which is going to cover everything kind of stuff. So yeah. you, you need to understand that it's not the frequency of success, but magnitude of success makes a VC. Right. So how I many agree. times I was right has no value. Like I might be right 2X, 3X, 5X has nothing to really give me anything. But if I do... 100x, like OYO was 280x kind of return, which was in public, right? Barasoka share, which we had bought, we sold it at three and a half lakh kind of shares, right? So that, that's the magnitude. Now, uh, second is portfolio construction. A uh, lot of the people uh, do one or two or five investments and say, okay, are, there is no exit. This is an ex illiquid asset class and you need mm -hmm. at least 20 company in a portfolio minimum 20 companies over five years. You have to play the vintage every year as a vintage. We had COVID and we had EdTech as the vintage where everything in EdTech was getting funded. So there are times you can't miss those trends or uh, you know those events, right? So you have to be patient continuously investing. Lastly, there has to be an index of startups. So once you have these 20 companies, you preserve capital. You know, at least I'm assuming that the uh, investor is going to apply quality filter while investing, right? And if they do so, and then they do 20, 30, 40, the X's keep on adding. So mm. if you're at 100 X, you, I mean, um, 100 companies, you can expect 10 X kind of return. Mm. It's very rewarding. And again, it's not by art, it's by science. There's a lot of data into it. I, in fact, I have uh, uh, published on LinkedIn my presentation, which recently has all these data points. Uh, go, yeah. it's download, it's in public. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, you you have this famous eight questions to evaluate startups. Can you shed some light on that? I mean, nothing famous about it. It's just trying to, you know, shorten the time for founders saying that this is what VCs would expect, uh, you know, while investing. This is how investors would think. So be prepared, right? So uh, the questions are basically, uh, first one is, uh, what's the mission? 
why are you building this company right then you know that's basic question you need to have your purpose your elevator pitch your ask then you ask across you know how big the market is you know what's the kind of uh, uh, you know imagine where you could be like what's the sizing and stuff uh, kind of uh, working uh, then you talk about you know what kind of business model strength you have how will you make money and stuff uh, next is uh, why would your idea product service would need uh, or go viral or go non linear why would people need this product right in terms of uh, again and again then uh, what is your right to win your team what's the domain expertise so mm -hmm. i mean it it, it it helps just to narrow down the uh, storytelling of a founder much smarter and again i have published that on linkedin kind of stuff uh, anybody can read it hmm. uh, i i believe uh, uh, you know a lot of this content which i keep on publishing across on 100x.vc website or we talk to other vcs in fact we have quite a good amount of blogs which get published and when we interview other vcs and understand their mindset and these are all cumulative learnings right hmm. Hmm. it's not about you know oh uh there is some genius kind of stuff no it's a hard work hustle you read you learn uh you know you learn by doing it as simple as that right so most of eight questions you uh, the eight question was of course about the team and and how do you index a team what are the key qualities you look uh for in the founders or in the founding team when they are starting up before you sort of make up your mind uh, in investing in them so one of the key aspect which uh, you know Uh, works for us as somebody who can communicate tell a story right uh, mm. storytelling communication is the first thing which impresses you mm. as you dig more that, then you go about uh, you know getting their understanding on their passion about the problem statement what they are talking about mm. uh, third whether this guys understand numbers kind of their business model everything you know in that sense so over so typically uh, you know uh, for any uh, entrepreneur right you just need one yes be it 100x or somebody else right mm. so you keep pitching keep working on uh, the startup pitching uh, with various uh, investors the primary reason why any investor will fund is hope at early stage if i see a hope that this company is going to be a big outlier when i'll be investing so hmm. nobody invests on performance metrics yes they are hygiene checks we will look at it but key decision is if i am able to see a hope that this will be a outlier hit right once we have that hope uh, we as an investor tends to back those companies now this is from an uh, you know uh, storytelling uh, creating that hope side mm. now mentally this is the greedy side of the vc right an investor has got three buckets to tick right is there money to be made are these people who will make me money how much money i will make mm. right is there money to be made are these people who will make me money how much money i will make simple is how so when a pitch is going on wo market size problem statement sab bol raha hai he will think is there money to be made hmm. apna market hmm. hai solution bahut sahi hai okay paisa banega then the hmm. team team slide comes in what you asked across are these yeah. people who will make me money right do i have confidence that this guy is uh, you know has enough hunger or resources and capital to grow do they have domain expertise so once hmm. they get that Oh, are these people will make you money? Give you an exit. Lastly, the financial terms, valuations, you know, your your ability to add value on that uh, company. Uh, how much money I can make? So this three tick in a box. This is the hmm. other side where uh, investors will always on back of their mind will be thinking across. because end of the day investor is not doing charity right they are not yeah, doing yeah, yeah, yeah. they have to create returns so they right, are right. so uh, speaking of exits uh, how do you i mean uh, what, what do you think is the right time for 
exit from a startup? I mean, after having invested in them, do you uh, how do you evaluate when to exit? This is an illiquid asset class. So, yeah. I mean, tomorrow if I need capital and if I say okay, let me sell it, it's not going to sell, right? It's mm. an illiquid asset class. So, mm. y- you need to be very careful about the your uh, what kind of net worth you want to allocate to this asset class. Mm. So, Kaushik, the, the the exits are arbitrary. Yeah. yeah. But three types of exits. One is financial exit, strategic exit, mm. and equi hire. Financial exits where a VC or a PE guys or an IPO, you know, you get your real multiplier. Mm. Big time exit. Mm. Mm. Next is uh, strategic exit, which is where a large corporate will buy you out you you will get a reasonable amount of exit, but not like a bumper, bumper one. Mm. Mm. Then comes the acquire, which is where you will have across a salvaging of capital. So right. you know, place, <laughs> place this team somewhere, at least get some capital back or some shares back. Mm. That, that's uh, the three. But, you know, the key decision for an investor, which is like early stage like us, mm. is going to be saying that, now, let's assume you have invested 1 crore into the company and you are getting 20 crore on the table. Hmm. The exit is 20 times. Hmm. It exit 20 crore is there on the table to take away. Now, do you continue holding it? Do you take the chips off the table? Or you double down on it, putting hmm. more? Hmm. So let's assume you are continuing holding that stake, right? You want to say that, okay, I'm not exit and I'll continue holding. Now, actually, hmm. you are doubling down on it. Because right. after you 20 crore, tha, wo liya nahi, hmm. you are reinvesting now 20 crore cash into that company. You have a right. faith that it's going to double up hmm. or three times, five times, whatever it is. Hmm. And that's why you are reinvesting that 20 crore. So that's where you decide your risk appetite your hmm. need for liquidity hmm. right so so various uh, you know learnings are there when you take that decision moment and there are times when there are four exit incoming right. investors uh, will say that okay let's clean up the cap table i don't need any other investors and we'll buy all the people out else we are not investing hmm. 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 depending hmm. upon uh, how you uh, see across the exit you take decisions Hmm. So, um, I mean, uh, what, what do you think about finding the correct investors for the startup? I mean, you, I mean, the way you, sorry, you were saying. No, nothing. I was just thinking coffee. Go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, uh, the, the startup investor fit, if I may call, uh, how, how do you see that? I mean, uh, how, how do you, how do you place that? Is that a thing at all? No, no, it is very important, Kaushik. This yeah. is a very good question. In fact, a lot of the founders chase capital. Mm-hmm. And even my portfolio, I keep telling that you need a, you know smart money, not just money. Mm-hmm. So I give an example of, you know, anecdotal from Mahabharata. You know, the war was out there. Everybody uh, knew that somebody had to take sides. Arjun and Duryodhan went to Krishna. And they asked across saying that they need help for the war. And uh, Krishna was out there saying that I saw Duryodhan first and he has the privilege to ask the first uh, resources and help. And he asked across all the army, ammunition, everything. The capital. Everything. And the Arjuna was left out only with Krishna. And he was happy with that. Yep. Sure. And we know the outcome of the war and how yeah. Krishna changed the course. So every Sachin Tendulkar needs a coach. Right. Even right. if you are a rock star entrepreneur, your mm-hmm. coach is far more important. So Indeed. people lose that sight. People, mm-hmm. you know, raise capital one or two rounds and suddenly they are like media darlings, Pache interview a gaya, Forbes Fortune me a gaya, and they feel, oh, I don't need anybody. I'm now a superman. And that's mm-hmm. where things start. Down. Yeah. So, so the crux of it, smart money is very, very important. And so, uh, sure. Uh, what do you think about uh, the 
so okay investor finding the right investor is important but uh, what do you think about the product market fit or the founder product fit i mean which how do you evaluate this these two um this is so also sort of is, linked to your earlier point you mentioned sorry kaushik it is very uh, what do you say uh, simple right uh, this startup business is all about experimentation yeah aaj ka hi mera post hai right like amazon yeah shut downing they they shut down the food delivery business in bangalore hmm right so so amazon had all the might all the money all the power to continue they tried it didn't work out you yeah. failed and you move ahead kind of stuff so a lot of experimentation goes in business model so mm. you know you do little sell a little build a little experiment mm. keep working on various business model keep trying and we have i've written today only that post about you know how things happen across and why learning from failure is so important you learn by doing it right i had an investment in a company i don't know you uh, you guys it's your alumni at iit bombay called box8 uh, yeah yeah so yeah. this founders uh, they, they pitched kind of for their first check they had a mexican restaurant called poncho hmm mexican taste is very similar to indian tick in a yeah. box yeah in your market size great qsr model going to fly off this is i'm talking 2013 12 you know uh, very early kind of when they started so amit and anshul both uh, looked great promising iit mumbai background you know we tasted the cuisines they cooked well the biggest thing was chipotle in us was doing very well their hmm. ipo had happened so hmm. they took in a box right the market bada hai you know this company can go ipo now as a category mexican food was not being you know adopted as such wo mentally chalo aaj mexican khayenge wo nahi tha pizza as a category was created wow momo had was there momo was created but that uh, you know mentally of ke today we want to eat mexican was never there so market was not expanding the guys mm. were doing really well they were mm. breaking even uh, per outlet and stuff but it was not like growth growth mm. box it mm. was the pivot which happened right? mm. and mm. and it just flew off the charts right oh desi meal uh, you you don't need to soil your hands quickly uh, you know eat the meal indian meal amazing success right and mm. then nothing to look back more brands came in mojo pizza and now they are eat club yeah it's a continuous yeah. experimentation right yeah nobody is going to do so did i know oyo will become oyo the wo rehta tha to i would have put all my money over there nahi hota hai nobody knows how to pick winners otherwise all vcs would have been uh, you know god it's not sure. like nobody knows right we take quality filter and informed decision informed risk sure and the uh, founders will pivot hmm hmm speaking of oyo uh, box8 uh, coin uh, dcx coolberg i mean is there a startup that you've missed that you should have invested are many portfolio yeah so because like i have hard bunch like i've seen so many deals like we see almost 15000 deals a year so anti portfolio to banna hai right it, it's going to be there i mean you can't invest in every deal i mean i i feel if i had that uh, super power to invest in every deal or every indian founder i would do that but uh, you know i, I, I literally so for example um, uh, clever tap uh, hmm. that time uh, you know met anand and uh, sunil thomas and spent so much time before i could uh, you know that time it was called wiz rocket when we hmm. were hmm. Yeah. Hmm. so now you are close and excel partners gave the immediate check and we lost out and there was a discussion happening oh sunil was in us uh, anand is in mumbai how will the remote teams work abhi the 2015 kind of stuff who knew uh, remote teams also fly off kind of the right, way right. Pizza, everybody has to be so you uh, you know fail on haptic was there i'd met akri thrice right to close it kind of or closing you or right every time i missed kind of so yeah, yeah, there are enough and more anti portfolios bharat pay was there hmm. uh, my hmm. my hmm. colleague uh, uh, cto watsal he said are uh, you know this is a uh, so simple uh, uh, tech right it can be easily copied there is no ip uh, why bharat pay right? the guy executed crazy 
right yeah, yeah. in the simpler simple stuff but then i listened to the cto and he was right also on the ip but it was an execution play and uh, we lost out on it. i mean i can name so many stories i mean like continuously i've lost out uh, on so many deeds okay uh, speaking of uh, the the i mean this loosely translates into so okay uh, but maybe my last question was an outlier let me just come back to the course uh, could you just throw some light on the ethos of 100x vc i mean the students would really learn out of it no so ethos is uh, you know the passion for me to invest in 100 companies every year i want to build an index for startups for in india right a uh, thousand startups 2000 startups under my portfolio uh, see today in india there are not enough lead investors gin ke 200 rahenge maybe yeah and so who will who will stick their neck out and say this is a great deal i have discovered it i'll do the first check uh, you know i'm i'm writing the check let's join the cap table nobody i mean very few guys uh, have that conviction and or even the time to you know curate a deal yeah right? yeah so we do that we are a you know discovery platform uh, you know uh, we invest the first check hmm. we have the skin in the game uh, hmm. we'll stick our neck out saying that these are credible deals and there was a, a, a thesis in our mind saying that we want to earn on our capital on only exit so there are a lot of angel networks hmm. nothing against them they have membership fee they charge that fee kind of stuff online platform starts charges carry and all those things we don't charge anything to anyone hmm. if somebody will invest in 100x portfolio they invest directly engage with the founder and we have no financial interest in that deal we only hmm. work for our investment part and our uh, success hmm. it becomes like a credible deal flow for lot of the investors yeah yeah they they can blindly put in i'm not selling any deal Right, yep. I have no financial interest except for my stake whenever it sells across, and yep. I will work yep. to build that company. So it's a, uh, it's a money plus mentoring, which an investor is getting free of cost. Right, right. Uh, 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 would you have any advice for the new angel investors and VCs on uh, brand building and mentorship? Uh, it's, it's, it's. I, I'm guessing it's. it's something that we we don't discuss enough but i think you you're just sort of uh, putting a light on that very very neatly no so kaushik uh, it's it's all about so one word uh, you know reputation right yeah you need to build your reputation yeah. reputation is not overnight yeah it takes time your portfolio company founders right if you behaved badly uh you know uh it's there in the market right people will talk about it founders will say are isse paisa mat lena you know it's very clear right right so so i think is your reputation right uh, it's, sir, it's could you... so important to build it build yeah, it, yeah you know before you take you give as simple as that before you take you give I was in mute. You were the first one to uh, adopt iSafe notes. Um, to utilize that. Now it's sort of becoming a new normal. Um, yeah. uh, any any specific advantage that you see over the CCDs and CCPS that that uh, we typically tend to use? Uh, any any comment on that? No one primary reason why iSafe was there because we at hundred x wanted to do rapid investments, right? so deal karna i can't be sitting with lawyers fighting over rights board seats ye wo mm-hmm. it can't happen right if mm-hmm. i want to do 100 deals a year so we wanted something to scale up and the hack was i safe founder friendly quick to close templatize no legal cost over the counter you can raise capital i mean everything there right wo board seat chahiye nahi no discussion on that right founders right. can raise multiple rounds of capital um you know after they, so so they they can have a first i safe with 100x another i safe with another investors they can keep on building those single document between it's not like shareholder agreement where everybody has to sign that cap table and mm-hmm. uh, sign mm-hmm. the document nothing it's it's such a simple document mm-hmm. so it helps across and it's indian legal uh, validated so right right a, 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 you know it becomes very easy to close a deal 
Agreed. You don't need to think about valuation discussions. Oh, you know, I'm looking at 20 crore. I'm looking at 5 crore. No discussion. Nahi hai. Cap laga diya. Discount de diya. Whatever the way. There are versions hmm. of iSafe. Hmm. Hmm. Close across. And whenever the new round happens, assumably this company goes Series A and a price round happens, that's where you do the discovery. So, uh, from your experience and the way you sort of very neatly pointed out the priorities, even for example, I mean, get, getting into the operational details uh, of the business probably outweighs uh, raising funds, uh, clearly. Uh, any any advice on uh, fundraising for new startups? You once was just about starting and maybe, uh, wish, I mean, they're aspiring to get the first check from you, the endorsement from you. Uh, any Any advice for them? So I always tell my portfolio also where I fund across most of the time, you know, very simple tip, like uh, they they build a pitch deck and then build a story around it. I always say mm -hmm. first get your story right and then build a pitch deck around it. You don't need a pitch deck to tell your story, right? That's only going to be an additional tool which you have. But first get your story right and then build a pitch deck around it. Second is, you know, if you have to reach to any VC, the hack is go through their portfolio. Talk to their one or two portfolio companies, uh, try to befriend them, sell your idea. If the founder will buy it, they will introduce you to that VC fund. Very quick. See, every VC has a fear of missing out. If my portfolio yeah. deal recommend kar hai, I'll definitely meet those guys. Right. Right. They have a priority. They walk into my office anytime. They, they don't need appointments. They just walk in because it's a portfolio. So they can bring in those. And we have seen across a lot of smart founders do that. They reach out to our portfolio, talk to them, understand the process, what happens, all the questions, get their homework done, and they walk in. Uh, the chunk of audience that we have are young students. Uh, what will your suggestion be to them, I mean, uh, to the future generation as they go about selecting their career? I mean, this is a pertinent question, and I, I have been strictly asked to ask this question uh, specifically to get an elicit an answer from you. No, I'm happy to uh, share across, and I, I don't know, I assume there are uh, you know, professors and teachers here also in the audience. So first and foremost is uh, you know uh, I, I you know I've I've been listening across uh, uh, in the school in my times saying that you know uh, teacher would say when the the results are out and stuff and you do badly saying तेरे को तो कोई नौकरी देगा नहीं तेरे को तो धंधा ही करना पड़ेगा and business was a bad word right? becoming an entrepreneur was for people who were not uh, great in academics uh, things have changed. And thank you to all the professors and teachers that now entrepreneurship is celebrated and uh, amazing work teachers are doing across inspiring um, entrepreneurs. And uh, for students, uh, age is on your side, right? There is no home loan. Uh, right? Uh, you, get, you, you, you have got amazing uh, risk-taking capa capabilities. As time will go, you, you will have biases. You will have, uh, you know, prejudice on various things. And uh, that will limit your risk-taking ability. Right now, you are like stem cells, right? Kuch bhi bana lo, ban jaoge, right? So take risk. Uh, I think uh, if you don't take risk, uh, uh, this is the time where you are losing out big time. And, uh, you know, unless you have got a family to support ke financially, you need help and job. Lena hai. Uh, if that is not the case, you should give a stint to entrepreneurship, give a chance to it. Not one chance, multiple chance. Uh, and and India is unstoppable. You, you got a great infrastructure on capital raising, on scaling your business. So amazing times to change the future, make the world better. Uh, in coming years and I wish you all the best on that. Thank you so much, Sanjay ji. Uh, Marshi, how are we on time? Do we have time for a couple of more questions or uh, any any specific question you have in mind that? 
yes uh, actually we ha do have time uh, 10 more minutes so okay. and there are a few questions from audience too so as you like sir perfect uh, we, we could pick up the questions from the audience and i'll try to slip in my question in between sure okay so let's see okay so uh, someone has an anonymously asked that in a startup is it better to start your businesses early by taking funds from investor or is it better to start it late by becoming financially stable or maybe bootstrapping which should be a better option so according to you nothing wrong about bootstrapping um uh, you know i have bootstrap my first business and but it's very tough very tough uh you know in today's world where you get an unpaid consultant like investor right they give you money and also advice mufat me de raha have somebody what's wrong you want to build a large business and own significant minority into a business but it's a large one you will create more wealth than possibly you can think across with investors help so i always try to tell people whenever you are ready whenever your storytelling is ready that's your time where you should be able to raise capital and you should go out and get somebody to validate and work for your business kind of stuff today when we invest into any company we internally have a conviction saying that isko 20x return banana hai now to do that how will i work so we we have an before we invest we do our internal homework all investors do it right they they i mean this is not like sprain pay like uh, randomness the the future we work to design it there is a playbook there is a process so always get somebody on board is my advice uh and sir i i had one more question from my side sir uh, so you have been uh, 100x vc in fact has been part of lot of uh, fintech companies and so we have seen that financial literacy in our country has been growing since maybe covid hit once covid hit so sir how do you see the ecosystem building uh, now onwards in terms of getting uh, more subscribers or active users so yes sir uh, the way i see the fintech uh, sector it is getting more and more regulated it is becoming like a license business jiske paas license uske paas dhanda so rbi is controlling uh, big time so uh, see whenever a regulator steps in uh, the innovation has to be through a process right you you can't do uh, blind innovations or innovations which market can't digest or adopt because it's regulated the market is regulated so fintech uh, you should understand the regulator view and design your startup according to the regulator now that fintech uh, companies uh, there is special working what rbi is doing uh, you know you you need to focus how uh, your innovation is going to be within the rbi regulations or insurance if you are irda sebi if you are doing financial services and uh, work within that framework and create an opportunity Marshi, should I go ahead yes, and ask sir. one question? Yes, sir. Please. So, just changing topics, Sanjay. Uh, uh, the uh, um, the the string of layoffs that we have seen in the tech giants, with the tech giants, and even with the startups. Uh, how do you gauge the situation? What is the most efficient thing to do as a company, according to you? See, if I'm running a company, right? Startup is a company. Okay, young, I'm rapidly grow. Right? So, startup is going to be there. But company is a business. if i'm 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 trying to do what was done in 10 years i'm trying to achieve in 2 years 3 years so we are at a speed then there is a venture capital given to us to fail do experimentation so we do that now assumably we do the right sizing which means that we were going at a speed now we see a speed bump if i don't stop i'm going to crash do i crash or do i stop i stop Right. right so right. founders become mature they start thinking ahead now you google across microsoft has laid out let's say 700 people nobody talks about it but baiju karega to takleef hai 
Sure. So, right. So, so the news here is there are a lot of sideline guys, and mm. I, I find this regularly mm. in most of my uh, you know sessions. There will be a couple of guys which will say, "Arey, PTM ka itna share price gir gaya." Uh, you know, by juice ka ye or I valuations, people are making losses. And, you know, I ask them saying that, what's your exposure to by juice? They have no clue how the things are working. Yeah, yeah. Why startups burn before they earn. Hmm. And the whole model is around it. Yeah. Right? We understand as a venture capitalist, what's happening. We look at growth, right? Yeah. I, I see a company which is profitable, growing at 20%. EBITDA positive, everything good, right? And I see a company which is going at 200% growth and loss making. I'll fund yeah. the loss making because in next 10 years, the company's size is going to be crazy huge. Yeah. It's compounding. Yeah. yeah. I'm not looking at that 20%, right? So startup is all about growth. And at some point in time, when you have once you have that size, if you are if you are building uh, the right product. And customers, then you will be able to touch profitabilities, and we have seen that success. Uh, I'll, I'll like to just a follow up question. Um, I don't know how relevant would that be for the current audience, but I'll just go ahead and ask nonetheless. Uh, on the receiving side, um, young startups who are just trying to get the right tech talent on board, uh, you see the market already so pampered that you find it extremely difficult to get the right person at the right price. How do you, I mean, because we see that ecosystem may, may not be um, evolving or maturing the way, so there must be some correction that's happening in the background, which probably would take some time to reflect, but what is your opinion on that? I mean, I would say across that if we are hungry for tech talent, then it's a great business for educational institute to create and churn out. See, I have a raw material ka problem. Hai. Right. Ka right. Ne, ne raw material to utna hi pipe. Mein hai. Then I price jack kar raunga, that who will get that raw material. Yeah, yeah. Instead of that, I increase the pipe size, increase the supply, increase everything. So how do you build tech talent? You you go through education. We need more engineering institutes. We need more more uh, you know uh, those open online courses where people can learn across. Hmm. I mean that's the only solution. Right. 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 You 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 will not be able to fight for tech talent, right? Uh, if there is enough and abundant supply, hmm. and that that's the only way your tier three, tier four towns can succeed, right? Yeah. How do you create more engineering colleges? How do you create more tech talent in maybe in Mangalore, yeah. right? Yeah, and then uh, you attract across startups which are moving to Bangalore and retain them over there. Yeah. Parshi, over to you. Sorry, I, I took up a lot of your time. Uh, not a problem, sir. Uh, we are almost done with the session, sir. Just a last question. Uh, sir, according to you, what is more, more important? Uh, is it a product market fit or a founder product fit? That's how important. Startup is a multi-variable. Yeah? You can't pick one variable. I'll coding, karunga, danda nahi karunga. It's everything. Yeah? It's a multi-variable stuff, right? You have to play in every aspect. You might have a strength. Let's say I'm a great tech guy. I don't have a uh, strength in financial. Yes, you can, your, your team has holes. You can fill that up, build those competency, hire those guys, build a team accordingly, right? No no team is perfect, right? Uh, every team has holes. You But you need to identify. See, as a founder and entrepreneur, is we think like we are supermen. We are supermen. We, we, we can do everything. I don't need anybody's help. And that's where we lose out, right? Uh, so the whole idea is to get a team. Very few people uh, are, um, you know, people give a lot of examples of earlier Steve Jobs and now Elon Musk. Those are rare guys, right? You are not that superman. Uh, very few people can do it. Build a team, right? That's the one thing. Okay, sir. So I believe uh, that's it for this session. Thank you so much for uh, giving your time and addressing students uh, during weekend. Sure. Happy anytime. And, and thank we you so are much. based out of uh, Vikroli, Godrej, 
uh, you know, happy to meet you guys. Any uh, small batch. We we had IIT Bombay guys recently coming in in small batch. So happy to host you guys at our office at uh, Godrej. Thank you, sir. And Kaushik, sir, thank you again for helping us moderate the session. It was totally my pleasure. I, mujhe bas, of course, is baat ke, I thought it was an offline event. That way, I, got, I, I would have shared the backstage with Sanjay ji. But yeah, thank next time, maybe. Work. Please come in, Kaushik. <laughs> Happy to host you at 100X. Sure, sure. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Good night.